Hello and welcome back once again everyone to Fruit the Banana FTB Mod Pack with Warmac 9. I've done a little bit of stuff off camera since the last time. Last time I was a little pressed for time and uh, I only had a small corner over here of the farm and now I've uh, I used up all my bones to make bone meal at the time and uh, I went ahead and spread this as far as possible and then I just kept respreading and respreading and respreading. Um, over the course of several hours, I added in an additional chest because I went cobblestoning. I, I just basically went down here into my uh, my cave system and uh, I cleared through a bunch of uh, a bunch of cave just to give a little bit more uh, sanity to this this hole down here and make things a little smoother, a little more even. Did the same thing right over here. I uh, I made another iron pick on top of the one I already had. I uh, didn't really get to use those much. I just came down here, down this hallway, and cleaned out the uh, massive amount of silver right here and the coal in the corner there, uh, which in turn, it turns out, goes into another cave system, but I think that's actually connected to uh, the cave system over there that I haven't gone down yet. I just lit up on my uh, my first day. So yeah, not a whole lot has uh, really changed. I just cleared through this because I needed the cobble. I uh, figured cobble would be a pretty solid building source since it's uh, obviously in abundance. It's everywhere. But I wanted to go ahead and start getting into the machine side of things. Now I, I've given it a lot of thought and I'd really like to go into uh, the thermal expansion stuff firstly, but I don't think I'm going to. It's... Uh, it, it's going to require gold, and I'd like to be able to start processing all this iron or uh, copper or all this stuff that I have available and breaking it down and refining it and starting to make some actual machines and tools to make my life a little easier down here. So to that end, I think I might go ahead and start with some industrial craft stuff, make a macerator, make a uh, electric furnace and a generator. Um, but before I really get too far into that, I want to turn all this coal, all this coal into something a little bit more worthwhile. Uh, oh, I also made a shovel. I need some sand because I want to make some glass to accomplish today's project. Expanding in this direction. Yes, I've uh, got extremely ambitious plans for this place, and one of them happens to be building a uh, small, controllable a rubber tree farm where I'll just have a couple rubber trees on the outside of the building right here kind of encapsulated and uh, that will be where I gain all my rubber and just harvest some trees from so yeah that being said let's uh, let's go ahead and start punching our way out here do I have an axe I did make an iron axe too so that's another thing go ahead and uh, punch through that and then finish clearing out the bush Now uh, I also need to go and collect some more wood, so this is this is kind of an ongoing process regardless of how you look at it, because uh, jungle kind of sucks to start out in. Mostly for the reason you're looking at right here, I'm having to do a lot of clearing away of all this undergrowth and all these shrubs and stuff. It's, uh, it's not a super big deal. I mean, I can punch it away, it doesn't really require any real effort, but it could be a lot easier, especially if I was living in, say, like a plains. But with tools like that, I can, uh, <laughs> things like the timber mod, that makes it so much easier for me to just go, boom, okay, that's a tree, and that's a tree, and that's a tree, and so on. Uh, I'm not really sure how far out I want to take this here. Maybe, yeah, that'd probably be fine to about, to about that, edge of that. So let's, uh, let's start punching away some more dirt here. I don't really need to clear on this side, so we'll just punch away right here. I want to kind of keep the walls flush. OCD and whatnot. Yeah, this will be enough from that corner to that corner. I can probably fit one a double wide, I think. One, two. Oh, that's not very, not very wide. I'd go another one deep. Let's let's just do another one deep, just for the sake of it. Continue down this way, and yeah, this will probably be the back end over here. So let's. Oh, I left all my cobble in. 
That's a shame. I am going to kind of build somewhat with uh, with wood a little bit more too, because uh, cobble... Eh. I don't know. Cobble's okay. It's just, it'll last you a little bit as a uh, as a basic material, but I, I don't think it's one of the nicer looking materials. All right. Oh, and of course, with the wheat that I've been collecting thus far, bread, as you can see. And just so you know, uh, basically everything's going through pretty much legitimately, but I haven't really gotten into anything that's uh, that's feed the beast yet. It's all been mostly stuff from. Uh, just basic vanilla Minecraft. So let's uh, let's keep clearing this. And uh, yes, let's see. Uh, all right, and let's see. If you keep seeing my uh, <laughs> my escape menu pop up, I keep getting interrupted while sitting here because I, I'm getting a lot of messages, a lot of calls, people are calling me from upstairs, there's a cow in a bush, look at that cow. You don't belong in that bush, cow. Oh, there's another one. Hmm. I have wheat inside, don't I? There's three cows. If I could free the cows, I could go ahead and secure them into a location. That sounds like a plan. Also, I don't know where this, this edge of my house is. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I'm reading a text message now. Yeah, I've uh, I've been getting a, a lot of messages today. Everybody wants to seem to uh, talk to me just because I recently got a job that I've been trying to get for a very long time. So uh, kind of a bit of good news there. I'll be salaried and I'll be working a uh, 8 to 5 Monday through Friday. It's kind of a tier 2 technical support sort of position, which is, uh, which is perfectly cool because I think that's something I'd be really capable of. It's just... You know, something to uh, something different, something I haven't done before, and uh, hopefully it's going to be amazing because I haven't had a really nice paying job in a really long time, and I kind of need it. It's it's getting to be a bit stressful to not have something like that. All right. Um, before I forget, let's uh, let's go ahead and bust out that wheat, and we'll pin in these cows somewhere inside this room as well. Okay, wheat, and boom, boom. Okay, let's uh, pull out the wheat. Oh, you need attention? What about you? Am I worth your attention, cow? Sorry. Maybe it'll forgive me in a moment. All right, this cow is following me, and there was another one over here. Where did the cow go? Well, here's... Oh my god, there's two right there. Let's see if I can get them out without hitting them. There we go. It's at least three, four, four cows. That's amazing. All right, you guys, I need you to stay still while I hem you in. Yes, never escape. Never. Yeah. Ah. Uh, get down from that. Shoot. Shoot. You didn't. You did not hear anything. Try not to uh, use any sort of profanities because Minecraft itself is not rated. Therefore, it has to be accessible to all of any age and be uh, acceptable by all. So I sincerely apologize that I, I said anything. Anything of any sorts of uh, questionable statement here. Let's, uh, let's finish this wall out really quick so I can keep these keep these cows there. And now I have to... Oh, Jesus, come back here, Bessa. All right. Anyway, I'll have to probably beep that out in post. Uh, I know some of you probably end up don't care if uh, if somebody is actually using profanity inside a inside a series on YouTube because uh, most people are, are mature enough to handle it. I I, I will uh, admit that a lot of people have uh, 
probably the maturity to handle and express themselves in such a fashion. However, at the same time, there are a lot of people that are not, as well as some people that don't want that kind of stuff uh, for their kids. And kids watch Minecraft, and I, I completely understand and respect that, and I don't want to uh, create content that I wouldn't let my own children watch someday. So, yeah, that's that's kind of my stance on that. Now I have these cattle. Let's go ahead and sleep since it's becoming night, and I really don't want uh, additional enemies on top of me here. Boom. Cow's not for inside, but uh, I can't really keep him out right now until so I make a door. Also got to go over to the desert and mine some sand. Also got to go to the swamp and get some rubber trees. Yeah, got a lot of stuff I'm trying to do here all at once. Always so ambitious, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess this can be a... Oh, I don't know. I might either have to make this purely a uh, cow farm or... Whoa, get out of the ground. Either purely a cow farm or... Uh... Oh, that's not good. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Stupid bovine. Move. 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 M move. No, you guys don't come in here. Everyone come out. Come out. Thank you. Jesus. I don't want cows inside the house just because it's going to be impossible to get them back out. Especially if they start getting into my wheat patch. And then it's just going to be like stomp, stomp, stomp. There goes all my wheat. Let's see if any damage has been done thus far. That uh, looks fine. Hmm, now that I've got these cows wrangled in here, I'm wondering if I should just go ahead and use this as primarily a cow-only area, or if I should go a little bit more in-depth with it, maybe continue with my original project, um, planting rubber trees. If I keep planting rubber trees, that means I probably don't want to overpopulate the cows, but if I make it into just a cow farm, I can just make a ton of cows. Kind of have this really big, horrible place for cows to live where there's just a truckload of uh, cattle in a very, very tight, confined environment. I don't know. Also, I want to kind of build up to get a uh, better view of the area. But this will do for right now. Um, I think it's relatively well lit. Just throw that there. Hopefully the oh, uh, hopefully the cows can't get out from here. Looks like I'm going to have to uh, fight a couple spots like that to keep them from coming in. That'll do, I guess. Um, yeah, so let's let's uh, go ahead and pack our bags for adventure. Grab some steak. I have some shovel, so I can make, get some sand. We're gonna go ahead and head out and. Uh, Hopefully, go ahead and make a house. Waypoint, y'all. Hopefully, we'll get some sand, we'll get some uh, rubber saplings, so on and so forth. Red flower there, a lot of sand. It's good. I'm just gonna use the uh, the shovel here till it breaks. Shovels break pretty quickly, just because they work so quickly. Um, actually, no, I should probably use this until it breaks, since I do know that there is a swamp down there, I should save some of it for clay, because clay is going to give me the option to be able to be a lot more efficient, especially when it comes to uh, coal. Start making some uh, coke oven furnaces as well. Um, that might end up being a different episode when I have to build a, another annex onto the side of the house. Oh joy, more, uh, more jungle clearing. This is really just an interesting looking desert because I don't typically see this very frequently. A uh, desert with this weird overhang kind of thing going on. So a little low on torches, this might be a, a bad idea here in a few. But at least there's not many monsters out here. What? Why are there no monsters? Yeah, it's not normal. Um, it's kind of weird. Normally, I, last time I came out here there was several skeletons just camping underneath these things as well as some, uh, some creepers. Some creepers. Go ahead and place out another torch. Oh my god, cactuses, cacti, cactuar. How many sand did I pick up? I've already got 64 and 8. I think I'll uh, 
I'll be okay for now. Let's break the cactus. I can totally make use for cactuses with waterproof piping. That is amazing. Wow, look at all these crag type tops. I might end up moving my house somewhere over here sooner or later. I mean, look at that. Let's get up on top of this thing. This, this view's got to be amazing. It's a little uh, ADD of myself, but seriously, this, this view is overlooking the desert. Looks like it's straddling a regular tree biome. And the, uh, the jungle biome's obviously to the northeast of here. Let's see. It's a pretty tall hill, too. Uh, I've built on hills a bunch of times in my own little uh, single-player survivals. I guess supposedly the, always the uh, the biggest downside is I end up getting knocked off the side by a skeleton, or things just like to spawn up here because there's a lot less surface area and the uh, the rules of engagement that enemies kind of spawn in on. Uh, it, it gets really choppy really quickly. Oh, hello. There's a uh, there's a village over there somewhere. I'm just doing this to see if I could force a load in quicker. But I, I see a village up there in the upper left-hand corner. It looks like it's a forest village, which is kind of neat, because that's, uh, that's not millinaire. That's just regular Minecraft. And there's an alpine, even a snowy alpine down there. Now, the, uh, the FTB mod pack, as you might have already been aware, has uh, large biomes in it and extra biomes. So the biomes themselves are a little bit larger, a little bit grander, so I suppose that would be the explanation for why the desert here looks so crazy. But it also has uh, extra biomes, like the... Uh, the giant pine trees there in the uh, the alpine region as well as uh, some other regions like the uh, the red rock regions which I, I don't believe I've encountered any of those quite yet on this particular play but uh, you know with with the future will come exploration I have a tendency to uh, kinda hunker down where I first spawn just to, uh, to to be relatively on the safe side which is why I, I built my base back over there uh, but let's see. Here I am in the swamp. We are looking primarily for rubber tree saplings, which I'm not seeing any of right off the bat. Rubber tree saplings are easiest identified by the fact that they have an additional three, two to three shoots off the top like these guys here. I didn't make any uh, tree taps because I, I wasn't planning on uh, just tapping for the rubber. You do get some of the rubber out of it when you uh, just break it. Didn't get any there. Usually I get some rubber whenever I just break it. There we go. But I'm here mostly for the wood and the resin. Um, I'm going to be able to earn the wood and the resin. I just said I wasn't here for the resin. I'm mostly here for the wood and the saplings because I can take the wood and I can extract the uh, the resin out of it once I throw up a generator and I can uh, take the resin and make rubber, obviously. You can also use the rubber in the uh, extractor and get triple the output. So that's, uh, that's another thing to look forward to as well. Let's go ahead and break this off of this other tree, otherwise it won't decay properly. Hopefully I can get two or three uh, rubber tree saplings. There's one. So I'm at one. Gotta get a couple more though. Uh, let's see. Just go ahead and finish out this. And there's more rubber trees over there. There's some sheep and trees over there. I don't know why it is, but I always see sheep and trees. And I think of the uh, the picture on the internet of the uh, the goats in a tree. It's like goats. Why are you, why are you in that tree? It's it's kind of one of those weird mysteries, and I'm sure someone probably has an explanation to it. But I'm just going to assume that it's completely unexplainable. I mean, why would a goat climb a tree? It doesn't make any sense. Trees are for birds. Trees are for other things that grow in apiary environments. Let's kind of poke around for some of this clay. What's that? Oh, it's just loading in. Alright then. Oh, there's a red rock biome right there. Oh, my biomes aren't actually coming out to be that large. I mean, they're they're diverse, but they're in relatively a tight enough area. I've hit basically every type of biome. Um, there's a snow biome down that way, because I can see the snow on those trees. It's also alpine. We have desert biome. We have swamp biome. We have forest biome with hills. And we have a really sheer red rock biome over there. 
So it looks like I'm in a pretty diverse spawn location. At least I didn't spawn in an island or didn't spawn in a uh, jungle-only forest or something really, really crazy where I'm basically uh, stuck in one method of play or one type of uh, environment. Here we have some water bees. Don't have a uh, scoop, so I can't really catch any bees. But I don't really have any intent of getting bees. I don't, I don't know bees well enough to actually do anything with bees. Uh, I'm sure I could read the wiki, but again, uh, lazy and uh, bees. I mean, and bee bees. Sure, they're they're cute, but they're bees. I mean, bees are deadly. They they sting people. They they can hurt you. Some people are allergic to bees and will die after getting stung by bees. I don't think that's a reason to, to praise bees or to collect bees for honey, especially when there's so many other things that are a little less time-consuming. Like I could uh, just keep growing wheat, or I can uh, keep going with uh, um, cows. I mean, cows are a really easy, replenishable resource, especially once you get to a, uh, a feeder, and you can just have them mass breed on their own just by throwing some wheat in the feeder and it'll occasionally pop it out on the uh, cows. Uh-oh. I heard a spider. Already? And silly me didn't for didn't remember to bring a uh bring a sword in typical fashion. Here's some uh sugar cane though. I will need that. There's so many rubber trees over here though. I just want to collect all the rubber trees and then I'm going to make a daring Nighttime run back to my house. Also, here is slime. Or was that me? It might have been me walking through the sand, underwater. I don't know. That's uh, that's really weird. See right there, I broke that block, and it gave me a uh, gave me two resin. Oh, there's light over there. Probably. Lava. Let's see. Yeah, those alpine trees are really nice, but uh, I don't know. They're a little difficult, I would imagine, to to live in. What is that? Oh, it's a poorly textured zom uh, skeleton. Because occasionally my uh, my game client bugs, and I get some bad textures, and I don't really understand why. And I'm getting uh, zombie runs here. What's this? I really didn't remember to make an a uh, sword. Yeah, sometimes uh, I have uh, issues with Feed the Beast, and it occasionally messes up textures. I just have to log out and log back in whenever it occurs. Uh, it affects things like, as you can see, the zombie legs. It affects skeletons for both their ribs, their legs, their chest. Like like the entire torso portion will occasionally disappear. And uh, usually at least one leg, one arm. And uh, creeper bodies. So it'll be like a head and four little feet. So I'll won't really always see the creepers coming, which can uh, be a little uh, little detrimental. Two. That's that's not enough. I need more. Oh, two saplings. It always sucks when having to uh, to farm for stuff at night when you're having to compete against the the enemies and the elements. But uh, I suppose it could be worse. I hear an Enderman blinking around. Let's uh, try and be quick about this. I certainly would not survive an Enderman encounter if I happened to uh, have to fight one. Don't have quite the armor for it. Enderman hit so ridiculously hard. It's like four, four and a half hearts on uh, on an unarmored individual. Uh, there's a spider of absolute ninja capacities. Oh, my spine. But yeah, more about that. Uh, more about that job. I'm quite excited. I'm a little, a uh, little cautious, a little wary because I'm not completely sure I'm going to be as effective as uh, they want me to be. They, they want me to be able to do basically everything under the sun, and hopefully I, I can. Uh, but things like Java and uh, some Active Script and stuff like that, I know some of, but I, I don't think I'm very super duper proficient at. So it, it could go either way, and I am completely going to die here. I can get out to land and run for it. Oh my god. And there's a creeper. How many saplings did I get? I'm only at two. That's not enough. Gotta go back. And that really sucks. Because there's two creepers there. Oh, look. 
new variety of creeper, the headless creeper. That that kind of sucks as well. Skeleton's still coming after me. Now I got a zombie after me as well. I want to get back over here to these decaying trees. Maybe I've gotten lucky. Maybe a new uh, new bit of sapling has fallen. This is just kind of really intense all of a sudden because I decided to stay out here late. At least while I'm out here in the water, there's not going to be any sort of like Enderman attack because they can't touch water. If an Enderman is uh, after you, if you just go sit in a puddle or something, he, he can't get you. I mean, if it's just a puddle large enough for yourself, my god, that's a huge slime. If it's just a puddle large enough for yourself, I mean, he can obviously hit you from outside the puddle, but uh, he can't directly stand in water. That will set them on fire because for whatever reason, the end where they come from is completely dehydrated, and I guess that means that anybody else that comes from the end is going to also get oversaturated if they touch water, causing death. Or at least that's how I assume it goes. Maybe it's just because it's a reference to the Slender Man, and uh, Slender Man abducts kids, and... Uh, I don't know, kids hang out at pools? I, I don't know what the logic is on that. Spider there, coming for me. How about you? Yeah! Okay. Get that. Uh, six sack. Six. Sip saplings. Sip saplings. Um, six saplings. And uh, I speak good, I swear. Uh, I kind of want to go over there and kill the slime, but now there's another slime over here, and now there's a creeper. Go on. Go on. There you go. Feel better now? Headless creepers. Where did slime go? Oh, there he is. Oh, there's a creeper. I'm going to uh, kind of loot over this way. I think I got enough saplings, so I'm going to, uh, to call it quits here, but I kind of really want to kill those slimes, because slime balls would be so nice to have just in advance, because I know I'm going to need them later. Oh, did the slime just bug out? Yeah, the slime's bugged out too. The slime's a weird texture. I'm gonna break my axe here in a second. I'll have to resort to pickaxe. Look at the door slime. Whoa, 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 whoa. Skeletons, come on. Man. Alright, I'm gonna take the, uh, the easy way out on this and I'm just gonna wait for daytime and uh, just kinda chill out here hopefully nothing will happen oh, those skeletons still seem to be coming at me do they? no, no, they, they've given up alright, I will see you guys in a minute when it's uh, daytime Alright, sorry about the wait. I realized as the moon was going down that it's probably going to uh, not really benefit me to wait for daytime because skeletons won't burn when they're standing in the water. Fortunately for me, the slime also looks like it suicided itself underwater, um, dropping the slime balls down there just because slimes can't really swim and uh, he kind of couldn't get back up once he got down. So now time to uh, <laughs> submarine attack the uh, skeletons here. Oh, and there went my axe. From what I recall of uh, Minecraft 101 back in the day, axes were the next best thing you could use compared against, say, a uh, sword, because they did almost as much damage as a sword, but not quite. Uh, so if you're ever out in the wild and you don't quite have a weapon to use, go with the axe. It's like 0.7 the damage of a sword of whatever quality of sword it is, so you can figure out the math. It's like 70% of uh, of the strength, give or take. But yeah. Oh, hello there. Ninja creeper. I also got another uh, couple slimes here. That little guy is going to drown, but the big guy is not, I don't think. Oh, 
Um, sir? Sir Slime? Okay. There we go. What about you? Are you able to die too? Let's, let's, let's get you down. Come on, come on. No, no, you don't hit me. At least the little guys are easier to dispatch once you uh, you hit them. The little little baby ones can't actually hurt you, but the uh, the medium size and the big size ones can. Wow, a bunch of slimes have actually died inside the swamp here. That's unfortunate for them. Really fortunate for me because now I have 20 slimes, 20 slime balls, I guess. And uh, oh, there's another there's another tree here. Well, I'm out of axe, so I'm not gonna bother chopping down yet another tree and making you guys have to sit here for that. But I will go ahead and uh, start heading on back to my house, saying hello to the little spider who is friendly now that it is bright out. Passing by some sheep, there's a swamp, beehive, there's a cave. There's water. Another slime down there. They're just everywhere in the swamp by them. Mm. And there's the burning zombies. More cave system there. More uh, more slimes under there too. Oh, he got put out. But he'll light back on fire once he gets back on land. If he ever gets back on land. Uh, well, let's go ahead and collect these cactuses up here because I'm going to need, or not even cactuses, cacti. Because I'm going to need some cactus green to be able to make some uh, water rider. Uh, water, water, some water proofing for pipes, and uh, yeah, boom, like so. Maybe make a item disposal. I don't know. I don't really like item disposals, but I know they're pretty convenient when you have you know just absolute excessive amounts of uh, cobblestone and dirt and things that you don't really use and uh, gravel particularly. But it, it's more of a case of me wanting to preserve my items because I might be able to use them later in say like a recycler. So yay, now I'm back over here at my house in this incredibly dense uh, foliage here. I'm gonna pick my way through. Here we are, front door. I kinda wanna make a pathway that extends all the way to the desert. That way I don't have to make such a weird access route just to get back home. While I'm here, I guess, you know. It's part of my uh, ADD OCD on this one. Which makes Minecraft very difficult, because I want to play it all, but I want to be able to do everything in a relatively streamlined fashion, even though I know that's completely impossible for me. Got to uh, keep going around to all... And uh, yeah, so let's let's go ahead and finish clearing this out just for the, the sake of having a pathway here. Relatively nice and quick there. Because I have a shovel, it just goes that much faster. And yeah, so here we are. I guess I'll throw up some sort of marker for it so I can actually find it again. Like so. There we go. That'll, that'll do for now. It's really basic, but it gets me in and out of the uh, the jungle without having to hop all over the trees. Alright, and back home we are. Cows, still being cows. Still confined within their pen here, and let's go ahead and throw out the saplings that we collected. I uh, do one like right y'all, and another one like y'all, and y'all, and move, move, and one right there, and move, move, cows, cows are in the way, there, and well, I guess I kind of cut myself short here, didn't I? Uh, let's see, I could probably throw some at odds. So one like right here, and right here, and that'll probably be okay. Alright, and that is 
really going to do it for us for right now. Uh, next episode, we're going to go ahead and start making our new machines as well as, uh, well, well, we'll see. I, I want to kind of dig a, a room out in the back right here for the machines and then another room for an actual room, like a, a storage and bedroom sort of thing. So uh, that might be on the next episode. I might do it off camera. Not sure yet. But uh, that's going to do it for us this time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I haven't really been asking this on my previous videos, but if you like the content, obviously, click the like button. You don't have to. It's uh, it's completely optional. Um, but I'm doing this because I enjoy it and I have fun with it, and I like recording the things for you guys. So, uh, yeah, just show me a little bit of appreciation if you, uh, if you like the series or you like where it's going. Definitely like it or uh, dislike it. You know, your choice. And uh, leave a comment if you have a suggestion or anything that you want to see put into the series. All right. Talk to you guys next time.